Welcome back everyone. We have spent plenty of time talking about the Lakers new additions, or potentially who they might still pick up, but I think we tend to overlook who they brought back. I mean, everybody knows about LeBron, Anthony Davis, and even Austin Reeves at this point, but let's not forget about D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt, and especially Rui Hachimura, who has really been quiet during the offseason. Unlike Reeves playing for Team USA, D'Lo making headlines on the occasional podcast, or Vanderbilt being rumored to have grown an inch or two, Hachimura has been very quiet, and that's not a bad thing either. He definitely is not the type of player to attract unwanted attention. Rui Hachimura appears to be focused on getting better and preparing for next season. In fact, if you go on any of his social media platforms, all you will find from the past month are photos of him training, and that's likely a pretty good representation of what he's been doing throughout the summer, which is really everything you want from a young player on your team. And although he might not be a 20-year-old rookie anymore, many believe as I do that Rui Hachimura has plenty of untapped potential, and maybe even all-star potential if you're really optimistic, which would apply to head coach Darvin Ham. Does he know where his top level is yet? No, I don't even you know think he I mean? scratched the surface, man. As good as he's played, I tell people all the time, this kid has all-star skill. He's, he's an all-star type of talent. So just him being able to breathe the game and just, you know, everyone just helping him and also all the while keeping it simple with him um, and just Brian empowering him, AD empowering him, all his teammates rooting for him. Uh, you just see it in his play. He's having a great time playing the game of basketball. Again, no one's saying that Hachimura will become an all-star for them, but you would be lying if you said they does not have that type of ability in parts of his game. And like Darvin Ham said, I don't even think they scratched the surface with parts of it either. And with that in mind, I think it's fair to say that the Lakers are very confident in his ability to take it another leap forward, and especially when you remember that they gave him a brand new $51 million contract. I think we can all agree that says a lot about their belief in him. And knowing that, we are going to talk about why they are so confident in him, along with what we should realistically expect from Rui next season. But real quick before we get into it, if you have been enjoying the everyday content here on my channel, then I would really appreciate it if you could take a brief moment to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell to never miss out when I upload a video. Without wasting any more time here though, let's dive right into it. And we'll begin by talking about Rui's playoff performance, which in my opinion, is likely the number one reason for their confidence in him. I mean, how could it not be? Rarely do role players elevate their game to that level during the playoffs, and especially not over that long of a duration. It's not like he only did it for a game or two either. Rui Hachimura was legitimately great throughout the entire postseason. He brought value off the bench, and even within their starting lineup for one game whenever they had him on the court. He came off the bench to average 14.5 points during round 1 against Memphis, and that included him knocking down 11 three-point shots and only 21 total attempts, which he was able to carry over into round 2 as well. Now, he did get played off the court defensively at times here, but he still managed to provide value in a more limited role. He shot 57% from the field, and 55% from 3 against Golden State, nearly leading their entire team in both categories. And then for the conference finals, he came back to average over 15 points per game, shoot 53% from the field, and even be their primary defender for Nikola Jokic at times too, which he really did well at despite being a borderline impossible task. And not to mention that Rui Hachimura is currently the all-time leader in 3-point percentage during the postseason. And no, I'm not joking about that either. Now, we are talking about a very limited volume here, but it's still pretty impressive nonetheless. But no matter what way you want to look at it, Rui Hachimura definitely elevated his game during the postseason, and he proved that he has plenty of room for growth while doing it. Again, I think that's without a doubt the number one reason for their belief in him, and I could really end the video off that alone. He was simply that good for them during the playoffs. Although I do not believe that is the only reason. In addition to that, Rui Hachimura continues to show improvement in his offensive game, and with a development coach like Phil Handy who helped a somewhat comparable offensive player in Kawhi Leonard, there is a lot to like here with Hachimura. I mean, the guy can pretty much get off a shot whenever he wants to, and especially if we're talking about letting him cook in the mid-range area, where he is absolutely lethal. If we take a look at their team shot attempts from 15 to 19 feet on the court, Rui Hachimura shot over 60% from that area, and nobody else on their team even came close to that who attempted over 20 of them. 
Even though they'll typically be viewed as a bad shot in today's NBA, there are a few anomalies that you can make an exception for, including guys like Kawhi Leonard, DeMar DeRozan, and maybe even Rui Hachimura at this point. I believe they should give him the opportunity to showcase that part of his game even more often. You can legitimately run a play through him in the high post, and more often than not, he will be able to get off a quality shot attempt. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that he could become a 15 plus point per game kind of guy. He is borderline unstoppable when he gets hot, and has great footwork for a guy of his size. But another part of his game that he is showing improvement in happens to be his 3 point shooting ability. I referred to him being the all time leader in 3 point percentage during the playoffs at the moment, and I'm really hoping he can translate that to the regular season. I mean, I don't think I have ever seen a guy shoot nearly 20% better from 3 during the postseason, where the game becomes even more difficult than before, and if he can do that in that kind of atmosphere, he can surely do it during a regular season game too. Now, it's not like Rui Hachimura has been a bad 3 point shooter, but he's simply not been a very good one. He's currently a 34.7% shooter from 3 overall, and then a 34% shooter on corner 3 specifically, only slightly below league average. It really won't take much for him to improve his 3 point percentage, but I would like to see him become a higher volume 3 point shooter. Up until this point, he's only attempted around 3 of them per 36 minute average, but they really need him to be closer to taking around 5 of them. And then another issue for him happens to be how long he takes to get his shot off. Not only does he hesitate to shoot 3s at times, but he can take a while to get through his shooting motion. Now, he definitely has been showing improvement with that during the past couple of years now, but he still does have a little ways to go yet, and hopefully he can take another leap forward with it this season. After all, you kind of have to be a reliable 3 point shooter to play with LeBron and Anthony Davis, and especially if you're talking about finishing the game with them, which they will be looking at Rui Hachimura to do for them. But now moving on to the other side of the ball, and I think the Lakers may have found something here with Rui Hachimura. After acquiring him, they often use him in the wrong way on defense, attempting to have him defend perimeter players rather than bigger ones in the post. But after figuring that out, he instantly became much more valuable for them defensively. They often use him in more of a small ball center role on defense, and Rui Hachimura is more than able to hold his own down there. I think we often tend to forget how big he is. Rui Hachimura is 6 foot 8 with a legitimate 230 plus pound frame, and that helps him to be an effective defender near the rim. Because not only can he hold his own down there, but he can also be a good help side defender as well. He is not a great individual rim protector per se, but he can alter shots by playing help defense, which they found out during the postseason. And him being able to do that can directly benefit Anthony Davis. During certain matchups where it's more beneficial for AD to be a help defender, they can put Ruby on the primary big. No, he won't stop them, but he can hold his own long enough until AD comes over to help out at the last second. In fact, Rui Hachimura is one of only three guys in their entire team to rank as a positive defender during both the playoffs and regular season, with the only other two being Anthony Davis and Austin Reeves. It might be kind of difficult to find the perfect matchup for him at times, but he will help you more than he will hurt you on defense, and especially if you know how to utilize them. But to wrap everything up here, I think the Lakers are very confident in Rui Hachimura going forward. Between what he showed during the postseason, the untapped potential he's got on offense, and then with them figuring out how to utilize him on defense, I believe he could be in line for a great year. But what do you guys think? How do you feel about Rui Hachimura going forward? And what are your expectations for him this season? Comment your thoughts down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.